Hi everyone, welcome. I'm Trevor Hawley with Bali Texture Property, where we specialize in villa development, management, and marketing. And we're taking you around Bali to showcase some of the best villas that Bali has to offer. And right here, I'm in front of Villa Eden. Now, Eden is in Seminyak, Bali. It's one of the best tourist destinations. All the nightlife, all the hot spots, the beach is right here. Um, and Eden is a villa complex. So we have 13 villas uh, that all look similar to like this. Villa Eden is managed and operated by the Lux Nomad, one of Bali's top real estate management companies. A special thanks to Lux Nomad for letting us take a tour today. Before we get started, make sure and like and subscribe for videos in the future. Let's go ahead and head on in and uh, hopefully the weather's kind to us today. So let's go. All right, so this particular villa of Villa Eden is a five bedroom, two story, fits about 10 people. And something I really like is I always wanna showcase the wow factor when you enter these villas. So we always come in through the entrance this way. Uh, this one's got a, a nice wow factor when you come in. It's an open, uh, open floor plan. There's just a ton of space in this villa. So um, it's also very family friendly and just as is uh, standard with the Lux Nomad services, there's full concierge service private chef if you need it, um, drivers provided for you. So it's a, it's a great villa. It's, I mean, we have private beach access here too. That's another feature that is uh, pretty insane right here. So it's, uh, it's really set up for a, nice, for a nice stay. So let's go ahead and come on in. And it's just, you know, it's, it's super open, right? I mean, there's a lot of space here and a beautiful garden, big trees, hanging vines. And, uh, and as we can see, a really open floor plan so let's come on in. So we'll, uh, we'll get to this later, get to that pool. It is still a little hot here, so uh, it'll be nice to take a, a bit of a dip at the end of this. <laughs> and, uh, so what I notice, you know, is again, just this stone. It's like this, you know, we've got rounded stone everywhere and it all flows together, uh, which I think is really cool. So these are just solid pieces of furniture, which is really, uh, which is different. You know, you don't see that everywhere where the furniture is built into the villa. So it's got this really cool, uh, really cool vibe to it. Um, massive couch, you can easily fit, I mean, fit 20 people on this thing just fine. And, uh, and we've got two of them. So we've got mirroring couches on either side of the living room. And I like the, the modern sculptures that they use too, so. So something else that I like about this is that we've got, since the pool's right there and the deck's right here, it kind of flows into the living area. I really like that feel. That's something that's a little bit different that I haven't experienced uh, at many other villas. So, you know, it's just, it combines the entertainment value where you can have people sitting, lounging, swimming, at the same time watching TV on the flat screen over here. And it's still making, you know, making refreshments, making the food into the dining area. Um, I really like how it all flows together. So you've got that plus the nature outside with the garden. Uh, it's just a, it's, it's just a nice positive energy in here. So um, let's go ahead and jump into this dining room. And again, you can see that everything's consistent with this just massive stone white table. Uh, fits looks like ten people, right? And uh, and then the kitchen's right behind us. Huge counter. I mean, the space in here is in just massive, just massive spatial area. So uh, modern appliances and full hood vent, you know, it's, it's set up to do uh, some good cooking. So we've got, um, as I come through the kitchen here, another element about this villa is that a lot of the rooms are connected. So we actually have a connecting gate outside that uh, goes to the villa next door. So if you really want a, a, a place to have a big group together and uh, be able to all hang out at the same time, it's really set up well for that. Um, we've got the, the first bedroom is here at kind of this mid-level. So let's go ahead and take a look here before we go upstairs and see uh, the other bedrooms plus uh, something that's pretty special up there. We've got a terrace up there that's got a great view. So uh, let's go ahead and come on in. And all the bathrooms have uh, ensuite bathrooms. So we've got, uh, I really like this multi-level, uh, you know, we've got a couple steps, watch your step down here. Uh, we've got twin beds. So this is perfect for a kid's room. 
They've got a nice view of the pool, but it's also connected to the kitchen. So as you're preparing your food, uh, entertaining everybody, you can still keep track of the kids if they're uh, just sit, you know, in, inside here. The bathroom's pretty impressive in, in all of these rooms. I, I've gotten to see most of this villa already. Uh, but all the layouts are unique. So we all have, there's different situation of bathtub and shower and toilet and stuff uh, in all these bathrooms. And it's just got a, uh, I feel like I'm in kind of a grotto cave, you know, but it's this white stone everywhere, this curved white stone on the walls, um, on the bathtubs, and everything's built in. So uh, definitely a, a cool feel to it, so. A lot of glass, a lot of glass everywhere, and a lot of plants. So glass, plants, um, then we've got behind another bedroom, and it's another twin bed, so it's set up well for kids. And uh, a bit of a unique feature here, right, is that we actually have the bathtub in the room, so it's, it's, uh, it's a little funky, but I kind of like it too, so. And uh, so again, you know, all this like white stone that's just built into the walls um, to create, you know, these lounge areas in here. Uh, but I love this too, where we have just this little area with shelves, right? So it's kind of like your outdoor closet area, but it's got a skylight and uh, stone out here, you know, so it still has a lot of that natural flow to the, to the bedroom. Um, got a shower here, you know, glass shower. But that's just so funky to me that we've got the sink built in and then the tub, I mean, this massive, massive tub right here, uh, you know, big enough for a sea turtle at the very least. And then a uh, shower and, and that's about it. So simple, but still unique. All right, so let's head upstairs and check out the other three bedrooms that are up there. And, uh, and again, one of the best features of this villa is at the top. Oh, so come check it out. All right, as I come up the stairs here, I see in front of me a spiral staircase to the top, which uh, I'm excited to go show you that in a second. But uh, before that, we've got the other bedrooms here on this level. So uh, let's jump in here. I believe this is the master bedroom. You know, they're all pretty similar size here, but um, as we come in here, and the acoustics might be, uh, hopefully it's coming through okay. But uh, again, we've got white stone everywhere. And as I come into the bedroom, um, it's, it's kind of funny, the acoustics get silent as I come in here, so it's cozy. Uh, we've got this platform bed on the stone. Um, and you know, the lounge area over here, and I just, I, I can't, I just really love how it's like curved and built into everything. I think it's just, uh, it's, it's totally unique. So. Got a really nice view of the pool um, from this villa. So there's a lot of different views that you get as this villa complex has a lot of different angles the way that it's set up. So this particular view uh, just looks out on the, onto the garden and we can see uh, you know, a couple of villas scattered throughout. A little peak of the ocean through the, through the trees over there. Yeah, a lot, a lot of natural light and since it's white, it just feels, uh, I don't know, feels very fresh. You know, it's a super fresh villa. Now let's take a look at the bathroom for this room because uh, they're all a little different. I do like these, like the hanging, uh, hanging bed curtains there too. It's kind of interesting. So this one, we've got, uh, again, a totally unique layout, a huge tub. Again, a, uh, a healthy grown sea turtle sized bathtub right here. <laughs> and then, um, but again, white stone everywhere, glass shower encased, and then, uh, and then this frosted glass. So, you know, we can't see out here, but there's just a ton of natural light in this place, which is, which is nice. So, um, big mirror. And there's, again, there's always a little bit of nature, you know, some natural features added to all these rooms. And there's just like this little planter behind the bathtub, just so it gives you that extra, you know, there's plants there with some, uh, with some frosted glass. So it's nice and light. Uh, let's go ahead and head over to the other two bedrooms. All right, so come with me to these final two bedrooms. You can see that the windows all open up too, and there's all this frosted glass, which I, I really like this. It's just, it's just so bright uh, as far as the light goes. So we come in here, and it's the same layout as the other one. So we've got the same features, same view.
same stuff. And just to double check that the bathroom has the same layout as well, which it doesn't, it's a little bit different. So that's kind of interesting here. Again, again the use of space is just, uh, I, I like it because it's all a little bit different. You know, each room is different. So um, a little lounge area next to the tub. And then we've got a, uh, a plant, you know, right next to the tub. So again, that natural element. Let's go ahead and head to the third one and see if there's anything, anything different, any surprises there. And this one, we've got bathroom on the right side. So the layout's kind of like a mirror of the other two. Uh, lots of space, again, a similar layout to the, the last bathroom that we saw. Again, massive tub, plants in the corner. So let's, uh, we'll head up to the roof in a second. I'm curious your thoughts though, because, you know, having the furniture built into everything, you don't have a lot of room to rearrange it, but I kind of like that. You know, I kind of like that it's been thought out. Uh, it's sitting here, how the architects intended it to be. So I'm curious your thoughts, uh, comment below what you think, if you, uh, if you like the furniture built in, or if you like to have a little more freedom to uh, move stuff around if you need to. I'm pretty lazy. I'd like to just leave it as it is. So uh, let's head up top. Let's see what this is one of the best features that this villa has. Um, other than I really love like the massive space downstairs, but uh, it's got something extra special upstairs. So uh, watch your step. Let's go up the spiral staircase and check it out. All right. So I carefully uh, make my way to the top of these spiral stairs. Um, so we're on the terrace and this, this is just sick. It's awesome. So we've got a huge space, a big lawn with a outdoor bathtub um, and then these, uh, these couches where you could fit 50 people easy. Um, so this is, this is, you know, I love these features. Uh, what I also notice is I hear and see the, uh, the ocean from here. So a uh, great view. You know, we can see the rest of the, the island of Bali uh, surrounding us here. It's nice, it's sunny. We've got a little bit of a breeze, which, which feels good. Uh, it's still a little hot today, but, um, but we still haven't gotten rained on yet. So that's nice. And as I come to the side here, we still have a nice view of the pool. So I think rather than taking the uh, terrace bath right now, let's maybe go uh, test out the pool real quick. It is, it's, it's hot enough, I think it makes sense. So. Go ahead and follow me downstairs. All right, as I make my way down the stairs here, I have to say again, I really like that hallway just with the frosted glass. There's just so much light and so much space in this villa. Um, it's just, it feels like it's the perfect entertainment villa. Like it's just something where you could really have everybody hanging out and it's, uh, it's relaxing. And um, just to highlight and show you again how you could really take a big group of people and all hang out together in this area is we have this gate that connects the two villas together. So uh, it's just a really nice feature if you have a really big, big group hanging out. So it's shown how it connects. I wanna go ahead and show you a little bit about this villa since the two kind of come hand in hand. And um, the thing is they're almost identical. Uh, just this one's a little bit smaller. Again, it's three bedroom, uh, but the layout is nearly the exact same. We've got the L-shaped pool, uh, garden, lawn, gazebo, day beds here. Again, the uh, two big couch areas. These, these are, I really think these are about the same size as the villa next door. Um, and then the kitchen is similar layout, just a little bit different. We've got the stone table uh, up here this way, and then a little bit of a smaller kitchen back here than the other villa. But um, really, we still have the, the bedroom at the ground floor here, a couple bedrooms upstairs, and still that, uh, that wonderful roof, rooftop terrace. All right, so let's go ahead and head back over to the other one and uh, check out the courtyard and the uh, swimming pool, so. Let's take a look at this pool and this courtyard, uh, beautiful garden. We've got a couple day beds, double person day bed and a couple single person day beds. Then we also have this little gazebo over here. Uh, well, not so little, actually uh, can fit quite a few people on here and it still has that rounded stone. Uh, so it's 
is consistent with the style of everything. And um, and a pretty pretty legit sized pool here. So this is probably 18 meters or so um, on this side. And then uh, it extends in an L shape over there as well. So it's, it's big. I think it's also set up pretty well for kids. It looks like just because we've got a bit of a shallower end over here. And then, uh, yep, as you go through, it gets deeper. So uh, I also like the wall. You know, we've got a cascading kind of trickle, trickle water wall, right? That goes into the pool. So um, this is uh, this is good to go. It's not raining. It's warm out. I think let's uh, let's take a jump. Yeah. All right, guys, well, um, I have to say the water in this pool is not as soft as in other pools, but it may have had something to do with how I went into it. So I hope you appreciated that. Make sure and comment below with your style points or splash score, whatever that may be. Uh, but that does it for this tour of uh, the Villa Eden, uh, Eden by the Sea Villas. And uh, again, another shout out to the Lux Nomad for letting us tour this amazing villa. If you are looking to stay at Eden by the Sea, We'll leave a link below where you can contact them for more information. And if you're looking for more information on villa development, management, and marketing, you can contact us at Bali Texture. We've also left a link below. So before I head out of here, make sure and like and subscribe so you can get notifications on fresh videos where I potentially bundle myself in the pool. And uh, that's it for today. So uh, it was great having you and we'll see you again on another Bali Texture property tour. I'm Trevor Holly. thanks.